What's going on guys and welcome to a new video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George. I own a social media marketing agency here in the Netherlands and I also document my journey on YouTube and Instagram you know, to show you guys how to build up your own agency, live a laptop lifestyle and live a life on your own terms. And in this video, I want to briefly discuss you know, things that I've learned and things that I wish I knew when starting out with SMMA, which you know, stands for Social Media Marketing Agency. Um, I have been doing this for about one, two, oh, three years now. Uh, I started in 2017. Uh, we're almost in 2020 now at the time of recording this. And, um, you know, there's so many things have happened. I've had so many, uh, I've made so many mistakes, but obviously, you know, I have done a few things right as well. And the first thing that I wish I knew when starting out was uh, basically that you should focus on income producing activities, also known as IPAs. And what I mean by that is when I started out, I basically tried to do everything um, in my powers to feel productive but not necessarily focus on what I actually should be doing. So I focused on creating my logo. I focused on building out my WordPress website. I focused on learning how to build a WordPress website. I focused on creating um, like the signatures on my email address. I focused on uh, beefing up my freelancer profile on upwork.com and freelancer.com. I focused on creating a Facebook page for my agency, an Instagram page for my agency, a LinkedIn page for my agency. I focused on um, you know, signing up for Google My Business so that if you Google um, agency in the Netherlands, you know, my agency comes up, stuff like that. But the one thing I didn't actually do was ring up clients or contact clients or cold call clients because um, at the time I was just afraid to do it. You know, I am quite an introverted person and I just didn't have the courage to actually contact a client or reach out to a client. So I was doing everything in my powers to sort of build up an agency without actually, you know, doing the one thing that I needed to do, which was get clients. And it took me a while, you know, I spent the first month, um, you know, with the website and the Facebook and the social media, I spent about three weeks creating an ebook um, with mistakes that people make on social media, hoping that people would buy the ebook and then basically get enrolled into an email sequence. Um, in the end, I didn't even, I don't even think I launched the ebook. Um, I think I posted it on my Instagram, which had like a few hundred followers at the time. So, you know, long story short, no one actually read the ebook, so no one signed up for the email uh, sequence, and no one ended up uh, signing up as a client, you know, off the back of that ebook. Um, I got quite lucky when starting out because um, basically I, the one thing that I did do right was I told a lot of people um, you know, in my direct network that I wanted to start an agency uh, which was mainly focused on content creation and I had my YouTube which had a lot of you know, aesthetically pleasing edits. Um, so I said, you know, if you guys know anyone that needs a video, let me know and I'll give you 10% of what I earn from that client. So that sort of spread the word and then basically I got someone to reach out to a business for me um, because you know, he knew the owner and that is basically what got me in touch with my first client for content creation. Um, I created a video for them, I charged them 100 euros and um, that business then referred me on to another business that they work closely with um, and then they obviously came to me as well and then I upped my price um, started getting more confident in my service, started charging more for content creation and then it was um, a friend of my dad's who uh, owned a um, agency that um, also supplied safety equipment and they basically said, um, you know, we haven't got any presence at all on the internet. Can you build us a website um, and, you know, start up the social media platforms, etc." So I've done that. That was 400 a month for the first three months. And then after three months, um, it was basically a side project of their agency. After three months, they said it wasn't really worth their time. So they said, you know, you might as well just stop because we're not really focused on the safety equipment at the time anyway. Um, and what they do is basically when they get a client, they just pitch that they also do the safety equipment and that is basically how they get their clients. They don't necessarily need it to be a standalone thing. Um, so I'll brief, you know, I basically quickly lost that client after three, four months. Um, but at the, t you know, around that time, I already got in a few other clients. Um, but when starting out, the first, about four to six weeks at the very least, 
um, I basically done nothing. You know, I was just focused on building the website, the logos and stuff like that without actually doing outreach. So long story short, um, when you start out, focus on IPAs, which are income producing activities, which are, you know, in the case of a social media marketing agency, focusing on getting more clients, okay? Clients outreach, sending emails to clients, cold calling the clients if you think that is effective. Um, I do not do the cold calls, I'd rather have like inbound leads, but you know, make sure you're reaching out to people every single day to get you know clients or business in for your agency. Second thing that I wish I knew when starting out is basically, you know when you buy a new pair of shoes or sneakers or you get yourself a new coat, and then all of a sudden you see everyone wearing that same coat or you know wearing those sneakers and it's basically because your perception um you've only just sort of realized um you know about you you've realized that those shoes exist or that coat exists you know you're aware of that coat and all you know it looks like a lot of people are wearing that coat but it's not necessarily true you're only just noticing it now okay and why i'm bringing that up is because when i started out I felt like I was at the same time that everyone else was starting out and I felt like everyone was also starting social media marketing, which was not true, okay? There's 7 billion people in this world and it's because of social media, you know, basically you, you get yourself into a certain corner or room into social media where there's like-minded people and by surrounding yourself with like-minded people, Obviously, you know, you stay motivated, but it can also look like a lot of people are doing the same thing as you. But that's because you've you've surrounded yourself with them. And in Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, they recommend the same type of topics. So it looks like everyone and everyone around you is is doing social media marketing, is doing lead generation, um, but that is not true in the slightest. Okay. So for those of you that think that social media marketing or lead generation or, or uh, digital marketing agency is saturated, it is not true at all. There's only a handful of agencies out there that are actually doing a good job. And uh, there's always people coming, but you know these people don't last, okay? The people that are in it for the money or basically in it to create a quick course and make money off the back of that, they don't last, okay? The people that do, the people that actually have the agency and are in a more from an actual agency rather than the courses, uh, those people do last, but there's only you know, a select few of them. Okay, so don't get disheartened when you see other people starting an agency because there's basically, there's uh, so many businesses getting started every single day that there's enough for everyone to get a piece of the pie. And you know, if you truly wanna start a social media agency or a Facebook ads agency, a media buying agency, a digital marketing agency, then by all means do it and then focus on um, you know not making mistake number one, which was, and not focusing on the IPAs. Okay, and the third mistake I made at the start was basically trying to do a bit of everything. Um, I looked into SEO, I looked into website design, uh, WordPress, Facebook ads, social media management, uh, organic social media growth, and uh, what else did I try and do? Brandon, basically I tried to do a bit of everything. And because I was trying to become a jack of all trades, I was a master of none. So my biggest recommendation for you guys is to focus on one thing and become an expert at it, okay? So if that is Facebook ads, then just, you know, basically have tunnel vision, focus on only Facebook ads and ignore everything else, okay? Prevent yourself from getting shiny object syndrome. Everything always looks better from, you know, from afar, the grass is always green on the other side. Every business model, every process um, has its uh, upsides and downsides as well. Facebook is very strict and you know, uh, you're constantly getting things disapproved and you know, it's become more expensive nowadays as well. But you know, Google has the same issues as well, but then you know, they might not be as strict, but the CPC is much higher. You know, for example, or the audience interest insights isn't as accurate or anything like that. Okay, so just focus on one thing. You know, it might have, uh, it might be difficult or it might have its downfalls, but then just focus on it, become a master at it, and then sell that as like a, a one thing that you do and, you know, become an absolute expert at it. Okay, with that said, also be very, very results driven. When I started out, um, I basically, you know, spent a lot of time on the branding and, you know, trying to build up like a long term strategy for the clients. But clients are, you know, like all human beings, we are very, very impatient. So you basically need to focus on getting them results. You need to get them more business 
uh, then you are costing them and they will not allow you the time they won't give you six months to build up their instagram page um so you know th basically what you need to do is make sure that from at least month two they can see some kind of return on investment. You know, be it, it might even be a social return on investment where they're getting more and more followers, but there needs to be some kind of result for them to continue paying you, okay? So be very, very results driven, okay? So basically those are like the three things that, uh, especially when starting out, I struggled with, and if I, I wish I could go back in time to basically tell myself these things, but then again, you know, I've now experienced them and I'll never ever forget them things again. So anyway, if you are interested in starting social media marketing, but you have no idea where to start, um, I am currently offering one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. It's basically a multi-subscription and you just get 24-7 uh, access to me via WhatsApp. We do group calls, you get the mastermind group and also my lifestyle design mastery course. If that is something you're interested in, it'll be linked in the description box down below. If you're unsure if this is for you, you can also schedule a free discovery call with either me or my team depending on how busy uh, we both are but anyway that is all i've got for today so like this video if you got some out of it comment down below what you'd like to see from this channel next subscribe to the channel for more and i'll see you guys in the next one